What's going on, you guys? Coach Little Joe back again for another car talk. So, what I wanted to discuss today is not an easy topic for me or I think anyone to discuss or even, you know, admit that they've had an issue with, you know. Um, a lot of people in the fitness industry and bodybuilding and, you know, on the professional level, amateur level, you know, they pride themselves in their dedication, their work ethic, and you know, in and out of the gym when it comes to their nutrition, their training, supplementation, etc. So, you know, people don't really want to talk about those, you know, dark things that can come from this type of sport, you know, and not not just in this sport, but in general, you know, and what I'm what I'm talking about is eating disorders. So, you know, believe it, believe it or not, um, you know, I have myself had issues with eating disorders, you know, um, I think my first issue, time I noticed the issues was about, you know, four years ago. And, you know, before I get into that, I just want to, you know, put a disclaimer saying like, yes, I have had those, have these issues, but it's something that I've worked to get a handle on. I can't sit here and say that, oh, like I never have any of those issues anymore, but you know, it's something that I've been able to get a handle on and it doesn't impact me as a coach in a negative manner. If anything, it's made me a better coach because I can understand and relate to people who are in those positions and understand what they're feeling and what's going through their head and, you know, why they think the way they do in regards to, you know, what they think about food or the emotional response and et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So for myself, um, the type of issues I had was what I would be calling, you know, more along the lines of binge eating. So in the past when I, I had, I had prepped myself for a lot of shows, right? So, uh, the approach I'd always end up getting into a bad habit of doing for a few preps that I did a few years ago was I would, you know, really go low carb all week. And then I would use one day on the weekend or whatever it was like a big, you know, leg day or something. And I would just go nuts and have a crazy, massive cheat meal like and just stuff myself to no no ends you know and it just it ends up being counterproductive but at the same time every time I did that the next day I'd wake up and regret it and be like why did I do that why did I do this but you know you just you get into this rhythm of thinking trying to justify it to yourself that it's okay and for myself I'm like a closet eater right so for me I don't get cravings to do eat food like that around other people when I'm around other people I'd have no issue eating like my Tupperware meals or whatever like that you know what it is in a social setting I'm totally fine eating my food in a social setting it's when I'm by myself you know you're alone with your own thoughts you kind of get a little bit uh, lonely I guess you could say and you're just uh, you know looking for that comfort food and you think oh like you know all this will make me feel better if I eat all this food or if I you know eat this and eat that and blah 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 and then you know for for a moment it might make you feel sort of better but it really doesn't you're just masking something deeper inside you that's go that's causing you you know an emotional response to want to eat a bunch of junk food or whatever it might be okay and this is a vicious cycle that continues on and something that we all have to find a way, you know, that have been dealing with any type of eating disorder to get a handle on, you know. And for me, uh, I felt like, you know, for a couple years there, I would say like, you know, 2017 and maybe a bit into 2018, I was having issues. And then, you know, going into 2019 and uh, like I was, I was doing a lot better with it and I had a better handle on it. I would still want to have that, you know, sort of like weekly cheat meal when I was prepping, but I had a better handle on it in the sense of like, I knew the portion control with the cheat meal. Okay. Because when I prep myself, I would always like to incorporate a cheat meal as opposed to like a high carb day or something because it just felt like something to look forward to, you know? And yes, it might be a bit of an amateur mindset there, but it's just, it is something that I did like to do and it seemed to work pretty well and it would come in condition. So, um, you know, flash forward to 2020 and all the craziness that had gone on, um, I would, uh, 
I'd be lying if I said it didn't impact me, you know, in that manner again. And it felt like I did a little bit of a relapse in 2020 because I remember at the beginning of the year when all that stuff started happening and I was trying to prep for a show, I just like really had very little control with my eating habits and it was very bad. It would be like, you know, eating junk one day at the end of the day after I train and then the next day I'm like, oh, I got to make up for it. So I got to go lower on carbs and then, you know, just a vicious cycle like that every few days. Um, and you know, at that point the show got canceled anyway. So I was like, you know what? Like I need, I need some extra guidance here. You know, I need someone who's going to keep me in line and someone who's going to tell me what to do so I can, you know, get a handle on my bad habits that I've, you know, let creep back up to me, you know? And that's when I started working with Patrick Tor. and it wasn't the reason I wanted to work with him wasn't because, oh, I have this issue with food. Um, it was because I had heard great things about him as a coach and wanted that extra guidance and wanted someone to push me to the next level because I felt like, you know, my bad habits are holding me back from my true potential. And if I have the proper guidance, you know, that's going to help reassure me and keep me accountable to stay on track towards these goals that I want to accomplish as a bodybuilder and as a person. So, you know, initially when I did make the transition to having a coach, it was challenging and I'd be lying if I said I was perfect with my nutrition the first time I prepped with him, but it was a learning experience and it's something that I've continued to get better at. And this year, you know, like I think people have been starting to see the improvements I've made in my physique. And a lot of that just comes down to being happy, you know, like in general, like I'm a lot happier now, I think, than I was, you know, those other years when I was struggling with those issues the most, you know, and I think that just comes down to how you approach things and like creating better habits, you know, because I had some bad habits that like started creating the, um, the habits with food that were causing issues for me, you know, with the binge eating and then trying to basically starve yourself in a sense to make up for it the next day with very little carbs and et cetera, et cetera, excessive cardio, you know, and I think, you know, I've had the issues too, where it's like, you know, you'd look at yourself in the mirror and you don't even want to look at yourself in the mirror. You know, it's like I'm a pro bodybuilder or whatever, but it's like, I hated looking at myself in the mirror because I knew I had cheated on my, you know, nutrition and it really bothered me, you know? Um, so one of the things I did other than obviously having a coach to get a better handle on and start creating better habits and a better mindset, um, with my, you know, daily routine is I started reading, the Daily Stoic. And this isn't a pitch to read this book or by any means. It's a book where you can read, there's literally a page a day for every day of the year. And you can read that page a day and it just gives you something to like start your day off on the right foot, put your mind in a good frame to be positive, motivated, and understand like what you should really be focusing on and drowning out all the nonsense there is in the world, you know? And I felt like that really made a difference for me, you know? And I've been doing it now for about a year. And I've noticed a difference in, you know, who I am and my dedication to things and, you know, my purpose of what I'm trying to do, you know, and it's helped me progress who I am, not only as a bodybuilder, but as a coach, as a friend, as a family member, you know, a brother, everything, uncle, all that, every position, you know, like I've been able to be better and be a better person. And I think that's shown you know, through those, those actions that I've like, uh, those actions that I've, uh, started to make into habits. So, you know, that's just one of the little habits that I did. And the other thing is just like, for me, just like keeping a journal, you know, not only for my training, but just like keeping a, you know, a journal of things that I want to accomplish, not like a new year's resolution bullshit, but like, you know, these goals, this is what I want to accomplish in the next few months. You know, I want to do this. I want to do this. And it's like, the more I talked about it, you know, the more I wrote it down, the more I looked it over and reviewed it and made steps towards it, the more those things started to happen. You know, for example, you know, I'm not one to act like I'm super doing super well or anything, but it's like I focused on, you know, I wanted to get a new new vehicle this year. So I, you know, put the emphasis on, okay, I'm going to make these steps in this direction so I can have that new vehicle that I wanted to. And then I was able to get it. You know what I mean? So it's like when you're putting the steps in the right direction, you know, whether it's with your nutrition or habits in general, things are going to start to align, you know, like it might feel like nothing's happening, but you just have to take it one day at a time and embrace the process of what you're doing, you know, and a lot of people, you know, they want to see those things happen right away, but it's not going to. 
And the same thing with the eating and the issues and food, you know, like no matter what you're struggling with, like it's something where it's like you just have to start trying to change those habits. You know, you have to put your best foot forward every day and say, you know, one day at a time, I'm going to try and do as many days in a row without, you know, cheating on my diet or I'm going to do as many days in a row without, you know, binging on my binging and then starve myself or I'm going to do as many days in a row and do my cardio or go to the gym or whatever it could be, you know, like just start to commit to it one day at a time and don't look at it as, oh, I need to do, you know, so many months of this, blah, 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 or years of this. It's like, don't think about it like that. Think about the daily process and just focus on what you can control on that daily process. Okay. So starting those, creating the, starting to create better habits is what's going to lead to overall success with everything you're doing. So what I want you to do is just like, if you are having any issues like this, just take the time, write down what the issues are and what things in your day could be making those issues worse. You know, what habits are making those issues worse? What thoughts are making those issues worse? You know, even people around you that could be making those issues worse, you know, because the people you surround yourself with are very important and are going to influence your life. So just, you want to make sure that you're checking who's around you and who's, you know, really there for you and seeing the best in you and who's kind of just, you know, bringing you down away from your true potential. Okay. So that's just me giving you guys some insight into, you know, the issues I've dealt with in the past few years and, you know, just opening up to you guys on more than just a, you know, Hey, I'm Joe, the coach bodybuilder, you know? So I just wanted you guys to give you an insight that we're all human we all screw up, we all have our problems, our issues, and you can overcome them, okay? So just start today and make every day count, all right? If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and of course, feel free to leave a comment of something you'd like to see me chat about next, um, or anything, you know, positive feedback, you know, feel free to message me if you have similar things and you can relate to what I've, I've gone through personally or something like that. Um, and just to let you know, there is some exciting stuff coming to my YouTube channel in the new future. There's going to be a bit of an expansion happening, um, which I'll touch on in a later video, but it's going to be exciting and I can't wait for it to happen. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that red button now and subscribe now.